Good morning students. Welcome to the next video of chapter light. In the previous video, we discussed about pinhole camera. In this module, we will be discussing about shadows. First of all, we will discuss what is a shadow and how is it formed. We will discuss about the characteristics of shadow. Two very important concepts of umbra and penumbra will also be discussed. Let's discuss what is a shadow and how is it formed. Shadow is a dark patch formed behind an opaque object when it blocks the path of light coming from a source of light. Why is a shadow formed? Let's understand. A shadow is formed because light travels in a straight line. The rays that fall on the opaque object are blocked. Due to this, they do not reach the screen. So, that portion of screen does not receive any light and remains dark. This dark portion is the shadow of the object as you can see in the figure. An opaque material on which the shadow is formed children that is known as a screen. Now let's know about the conditions essential for the formation of a shadow. Children, the first condition is that there must be a source of light such as a bulb or a tube light. Without a source of light, shadow cannot be formed. Then, there must be an opaque object to block the path of light. What is an opaque object? Opaque objects are that that does not allow light to pass through it, such as a ball. The other condition is that there must be an opaque screen to receive the shadow of opaque object. And the last condition is that the object must be placed in between the screen and the source of light. If all these conditions are fulfilled, the shadow will be formed. Let's talk about the characteristics of a shadow. Shadow is always dark. It is not affected by the color of the object or the color of the light used. So whatever is the color of the object, the shadow will always remain dark. The second one, the shape of shadow is similar to the shape of object. So if in case we are using a circular object like ball, we will obtain a circular shadow. It is always formed in the direction opposite to the source of light. Children, let's think and answer this question. What would be the color of shadow formed when three t-shirts of purple, pink and blue colors are hanging on a rope in sunlight. Can you think what is the answer to this question? Based on the concepts that we have studied, let us answer this question. Arnav has a bowl, a screen and a torch. He wants to form a shadow of the ball on the screen. So, he arranges them in two ways. Children, in which case does he not obtain shadow? And can you give reason why the shadow is not obtained? Let's test your knowledge with another question. Suppose, you are in a closed room with no source of light inside. A small rectangular hole is made on a wall to obtain an image of sun on the opposite wall. 
children can you think what will be the shape of image of the object can you give reason to your answer do you know children depending upon the size of source of light we can make changes in the shadow if you take a point source of light the shadow formed is completely dark and such shadow is called umbra as you can see in the figure the dark portion of shadow is known as umbra but on the other hand if an extended source of light is taken the shadow becomes dark at the center and it is surrounded by a less dark area the darker part is umbra as it has been discussed earlier but the outer part is less dark and it is called penumbra it is less dark because it receives some light whereas umbra doesn't receive any light with this children we come to the end of this video class i hope you have understood the topic well thank you children